So in another example of how out of touch the Tories are with reality, we have this article from uh, The Mirror. It says, Tory MP says poor people are fattest and need to be taught to eat healthily. So this is <laughs> Sir Desmond Swaney or Swaney. I don't know how to pronounce his surname, but to hell with him anyway. Sir Desmond said, families on benefits who are forced to turn to food banks should learn to do food shopping more cost effectively. So this, uh, the next part just repeats what he said before. Um, it says, it goes on to say, writing in a local newspaper, he argued food banks are an important contribution to the welfare system, but checks should be made to see how families actually spend their benefits, the MP for New for Forest West in Hampshire added. The former aide to ex-PM, um, David Cameron, said the shocking statistic is one in five of our children is obese by the time they leave primary school. And this pr disproportionately affects those children in the lowest income, uh, lowest household incomes. Uh, OK, the article finishes there. So, OK, there's two things to talk about here. <laughs> How can someone say, OK, well, no, let's deal with the first part first. So he says that uh, poor children are the fattest. OK, has he never asked himself why that is the case? Why are poor children more overweight? Could it be because their parents don't earn enough, don't earn a lot of money and therefore they're forced to buy cheap food and the cheap food is normally highly processed food with a lot of salt and sugar in it and children eat mainly that and not fresh fruit and vegetables. So this adds to their obesity or causes or is part of the problem at the beginning. Then we also have to look at, okay, many people who are living in, you know, high rise apartments, high rise flats, uh, living far from, uh, you know, facilities such as swimming pools or tennis clubs or football, f football pitches or whatever, or gyms even, you know, if you don't have access to that or if you have to spend money in order to go to access those facilities and you're poor, you're probably not going to spend that money. So the children don't actually have access to exercise. Also, in poorer areas, there's a higher level of crime. So many parents would prefer that their children don't go out in the evening or even in the afternoon because there's a risk of, uh, you know, being affected, uh, being a victim of crime. Um, so this is one problem with his opinion. The second really has to be taking the piss. I honestly don't believe he's a serious person when he says this. But he says that... Being forced to turn to food banks should, uh, no, no, what, where is it? Uh, sorry, I'll move down. It's after here. He said here that writing in a local newspaper, he argued food banks are an important contribution to the welfare system. If food banks exist, it means that the government isn't doing its job. Why does a food bank exist? This is another problem that this Tory MP doesn't seem to understand or doesn't even to, he doesn't seem to ask the question why do food banks exist because people can't afford to buy food why can they not afford to buy food because the benefits they receive are not sufficient why are the benefits they receive not sufficient because the government doesn't care about providing sufficient funding for welfare or for benefits now, some people may say, oh, well, the people are wasting the benefits on something else. I doubt, I highly doubt people are going to food banks and spending their money on booze or beer or wine or cigarettes or whatever. I think most people who go to food banks are desperate. They can't afford uh, to buy food. It's not, you know, they're wasting their money on something else and they go, OK, well, now I need to buy food. For most people, food is the priority. Uh, also, a roof over their head is a priority. But if the if prices of rent or, or accommodation is increasing 
and people's salaries and wages are staying the same, or people don't have any salary, um, they're being forced to, to go to food banks. And how is a food bank, which is set up by a charity, taking, the role of, taking over the role of government, how is that acceptable? How is that acceptable to him? Of course, he has never experienced poverty. He has never experienced the, the shame that people feel. I don't, I don't think they should feel ashamed. But, you know, deep inside, many people feel shame about going to a food bank. He has never felt this. He, he will never feel this. You know, this idea that it's a, an effective form of support for the welfare system is absurd. It's degrading. And it's just another example of government not doing its job. I've said this before on this channel that if there is one person homeless, if there is one person going to a food bank, even if there is a food bank, food banks should not exist. Food banks exist because government doesn't do its job. And what's the point in having a government? What is the point in paying this guy 70,000 plus pounds per year? What is the point in doing this if there are food banks, if there is a charity who's picking up the slack that government has created? You know, this really drives me around the bend, so it does, because you have these idiots, you have these idiots of privilege who have never experienced poverty, who have no idea what it's like to go and ask for help. And they can turn around and make ridiculous comments like this to say, yes, well, food banks are are something helpful to our welfare system. Well, maybe you should just get rid of the welfare system and and over and like pass the buck over to the uh, to the charities, like was the case in the eighteen hundreds. You know where <laughs> the philanthropists realized, okay, the situation is pretty bad. We have to we have to get involved because government isn't going to do anything. But this is the type of person who would. Um, send children back up chimneys and uh, reopen workhouses, probably. You know, is this guy serious? And also, I'm not familiar with um, his constituency of North Forest West. I, I assume it's, you know, populated by millionaires or something. Are there poor people there? Are there food banks there? Who, who voted for this guy? Really? What does he do in his constituency? How does he help the people of his constituency. He seems more like a charlatan and a, and a troll to me because I really have difficulty believing that anyone believes the things that he has said. If, you're, if you know this guy better than I do, if you're actually living in his constituency, let me know in the comment section, guys, because I, I have difficulty understanding that people like this actually exist. And even a bigger difficulty understanding that people actually vote for people like this. Thanks.